You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. I don't even know what time it is anymore. We've been here all day, 6 a.m. to midnight. Now, if you don't know what we're doing, we're doing a Change for Change Radiothon. It's powered by Doze Beds. Now, this is the Brett up. Uh, this is the Benefit Project 375, and Project 375's mission is to raise awareness of mental health, end the stigma, and raise funding for treatment. So we're asking you to donate, text CHANGE to 52182, or head over to bcchange, the number 4 changecom and donate as much as you can. Now, also, thank you to One United Bank as well for also uh, benefiting Project 375, too. Absolutely. Now, we got a special guest on the line right now, the homie Lecrae. What's up? What's up? What's up? How we living? What's up, Lecrae? Lecrae? How, how are you, sir? Are you ready to do some tithes and offerings this morning? Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> are you ready oh, to give ten percent? Hey, you ready? It's whatever you need, baby. It's whatever you need. Wow. Don't okay. don't play with us like that. Now, God, God <laughs> is watching. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, now let's just, wild, let's that? just put this out there. Now you're calling because I'm sure that you want to help the cause. Now, I think it's only right. P from Quality Control. No, don't do that. Stop don't do that. that. Stop MV. doing that to people. No, okay? listen, Lecrae, whatever is in I your heart. I just want them to know what people are donating. Lecrae, 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 whatever is in your heart for you to donate, I know that mental health and mental wellness is huge for our community right now. There's a stigma attached to it. We want to make sure that people get the help that they need, that they're not ashamed yeah. to talk about it. And that's why we are actually benefiting Project 375 this year with Change for Change. Yeah, not only am I, am, you know, financial contribution is, is you know, that's that's, that's easy. I think the harder thing to do, especially for people or influencers, to be honest and, and tell folks that they've had battles with, you know, depression or anxiety or mental health issues. And I always try to put that on the forefront. You know what I'm saying? That's a real big thing. Um, shout out to Charlemagne for writing a book on it, because I think a lot of average people just look at people of influence and public figures like they got it all together. They got it all figured out. They got money. They got prestige, whatever. And they don't go through battles. But you know, we go through them just like everybody else does. I mm -hmm. have a house with depression, anxiety, and, it, and you know, it, it, it wrecks you. So, um, so I just want to be honest about that and tell people, man, make sure you get help. Make sure you talk to therapists. Make sure you go to counseling. If you need medication, take medication and pray and do whatever you need to do to be healthy. Absolutely. That's that's one thing that we've been doing in our community for a long time, Lecrae. We've been feeling that like we could just pray a lot of these things away. You know, and I love, don't get me wrong, yeah. I love God, but sometimes you get on your knees and pray and God will say, take you behind the therapy. Absolutely. I mean, that's what God do. He put people in your life to help you, you know, to, to navigate them spaces. You know what I'm saying? But but even for me, though, I read the Psalms. I look at David. David was going through a lot. He was depressed. He was talking about how afflicted he was, how down and downcast his soul was. So it's not a new thing. It's not a, a strange thing. It's a thing that everybody goes through, that everybody will continue to go through. So we might as well deal with it head on. Right. That's right. Now, a lot of churches offer counseling as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you got to have a village, though. Like, I got my therapist. I got spiritual advisors. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a little bit of everything. Yeah, you got to. And, I mean, you know, obviously the more strenuous and the more demanding your job is and your, your role and your titles are, you know, the more difficult it is. And I always tell people, you know, it's hard when everybody expects your best but you're at your worst. So you really got to take care of yourself because, you know, no, you know, especially when there's lots of people who only look to you to give them answers or look to you to, to, to be on all the time. And sometimes you need to be off. That's and, right. And be, be healthy. Who does, yeah. the, who does the go to guy or girl go to when they need somebody? Exactly. That's part. That's exactly what it comes down to. Who do you turn to? And so, you know, it's, it's I keep mentors in your life. You know, I stay with some older, wiser people in my life who can help me navigate these spaces and, you know, I'm always reaching out and asking questions just so I can help, you know, other people grow. Well, um, Lecrae, can we count on you for a donation? Absolutely. It's the, done and done. The collection plate is coming around to you. It's right <laughs> there. There it go. Boom! You got it right there, Lecrae. All right, go on and drop a little stack in there like uh, the, 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 uh, uh, Eddie Murphy and Coming to America. You got it. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, brother. You, man. Keep going. We All appreciate right. you. You know what? Why when the rappers call and other people call you press them? When, when my man Lecrae call you, you mad? Because this is the thing about like Lecrae, Lecrae is a rapper. and Dr. Oz. Lecrae you know is I mean. a rapper. Lecrae when I'm talking about those brothers like that, they don't stunt. Mm -hmm. See, when it comes to the brothers that like to stunt, I'm giving them a chance to stunt. Those are the guys mm -hmm. that like to be on the gram with their money. They like to show what kind of car they got. Mm -hmm. You can look and see what the retail price is, the jewelry. So those are the guys that like to put their money gotcha, out there. Gotcha, I'm not gotcha. doing that to the brothers that don't move like that. Okay. 
All right. Well, we need some of them brothers that could continue to stunt the call up some more. Cause we need them, them big ones as well as you guys out there for the little ones. Cause we appreciate that as much. It doesn't matter what it is—a dollar, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's all for a great cause. And we'll be back. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.